Welcome to the Agile community and our technical tips and tricks videos. My name is Sebastian Perisa, Director of Community and Senior Engineer. Today I will guide you through the process of how to prioritize all your devices on AgileOS. Since we are delivering a couple of optimization solutions inside of our operating system, like for Zoom or Teams or Cisco components, it might not be applicable everywhere. But on specific cases where, let's imagine you have different input and output devices. So let's start with a USB headset, which has an input and an output, so microphone and headphone. Then going back to your laptop, where you have mostly an internal speaker and a built-in microphone, a webcam, maybe an external monitor connected via HDMI or display port, where you have also the ability to use the display speaker. So you see, there are a couple of different situations where you have more than the standard behavior, where we just have a headset and nothing else. For that specific use cases, the auto device priority prioritization makes sense because there you can define which device should be used per default in every boot. So that's a complex approach. Uh, last but not least, if you have users who are playing around on the local operating system and might be able to do so, but not every time see where to make the configuration back again to make it work, you can define that kind of standard behavior through our profiles. Like in every tutorial, we are starting in the Universal Management Suite, also known as UMS. I prepared an endpoint, which is an end computing RX420 Raspberry Pi device, where I connected a couple of USB accessories, like a webcam, a headset or headphone in that case. And I would say, let's start by shadowing the device. I already prepared the connection and check if the devices weren't recognized locally. So for that, I'm using the system information tool, which is already delivered in our system part of our start menu. And there, just double checking that everything that I need is there already, like my headphone, my webcam. If you're using standard brands like Sennheiser, Jabra, uh, Logitech or whatever, the chance that the device won't get recognized is pretty high. So it's just a double check just to be sure that we are not missing something else. Or we might already have the device recognition in our USB access control. So since we are now sure that the device won't recognized, let's go to the usage of them. So I'm going to the sound preferences, which is a little speaker symbol in the start bar. Then check which devices at the moment used and set per default. In my case, it's a momentum analog output, which is my headphone. And at an input device, the microphone of my webcam. So like already discussed in the introduction, we may have a couple of more devices listed there, even if it depends from your situation and from the end user. But Usually you have at least on the output multiple devices like your display, which is integrating some speakers. Um, if you're using a laptop, the built-in speaker from your laptop, and then you have maybe your headphone connected. So that's at least four different devices that the user needs to switch from itself locally. Same on the input device. If you're using a headphone, a webcam, and maybe a laptop, you might have up to three different microphone listed here. So before trying to copying something like that or trying to retranscript what we are seeing here, my suggestion would be before creating a profile to open the local Agile setup. There, go to accessories, sound preferences, options. There you might see now default sound output and default sound input. If you want to choose a specific one from the list, 
like I said, without trying to copying and maybe mistyping something, you can already choose the device from this list. So in my case, I will check the HDMI 1, which is pretty effective, and as an input device, the Logitech 4K Stream Edition. If I click it to apply, the device will store that setting, but obviously on your users will not have access to the actual setup to make this configuration by themselves. So we are now taking over this configuration into a profile that every device which is matching that specific device name will be set to default. And obviously without the user having to interact with the Azure setup or whatever. So I'm now opening the local configuration of the endpoint, going back to accessories, going back to my sound preferences, and now just copying the device name into an editor of your choice. In my case, I'm using the Notepad++. And now the second one, which is the input device. And now we are ready to set a profile. So basically we'll do exactly the same like we already did in the Azure setup, no magic there, but now we'll be able to deploy it on every device. So I will keep it simple and say sound preo. And again, go into accessories, sound preferences, options. Here we go, last one. What I forget to mention, and which is pretty important, the syntax is really important. That's why I'm not trying to retranscript something because uh, case sensitive uh, spaces inside of the device name and everything else is extremely important because if it's not one-on-one -on -one connection to the endpoint device name, it might not function. So we should be good here and now, as soon as we assign this profile to an endpoint, like on our Raspberry Pi, the standard behavior would be exactly like described in our profile. So just to be sure, I will reboot the device since the standard device was my Sennheiser Momentum. So let's reboot it. And in the meantime, I will cover the other topics like the prioritization if you don't know exactly which kind of accessory is connected to your endpoint. Because let's imagine your user is in a teleworker situation and he is switching between a couple of headphones. And then he is going back from his office, his home office to his standard office. There he might use a different brand. So that's getting pretty difficult. And that's the reason why there is another approach we can choose. So I would call it a generic approach. Where we are not telling the system which exact device has to be choosed, but more which port name might be used. So basically, my opinion, the default sound or output should, it's not mandatory, but should be on headphones. And the default sound input might be the headset microphone. So if a device is connected to your endpoint, which matches that kind of uh, device category, it should switch automatically without having the need to add a hardware device name. So let's check now if our configuration on device name went like expected. And obviously the input device is already set since we just have one. So like I said, it's uh, more or less a really one-on-one -on -one connection on an endpoint and uh, on this uh, hardware configuration. So it doesn't, doesn't make sense everywhere. And if you don't want to use that one, remember our profile we just created before with our generic sound preferences. So let me just push that one to the endpoint. And now check again the content of the profile. Last thing I want to share is since 
we even sometimes not know if the headphone, the headset microphone is uh, needed in that priority. We changed, I guess, a couple of firmwares ago, the automatic recognition to something which is pretty user friendly. So if I remember right, uh, the automatic device will first check if a USB device is available and will use that one. In a second step, it will use the PCI one, which will also include HDMI outputs. And last but not least, internal speakers. So it should already cover most of our use case, but if not, we showed you how to change the sound prioritization in a pretty easy way. Thank you for joining our technical video session. All links mentioned in this session are available in the show notes section of this video. You will find more technical content and other videos on agilecommunity.com and agileacademylearn.agile.com.